Hey, Dan here, and I wanna share some heartfelt tips and advice for those of you with the INFP personality type or someone in your life you really care about who has this personality, and maybe you want to learn some ways you can help them out. So some very, very quick background information on myself. I am the author of eight books around personality type, and I also do a lot of one-on-one -on -one and group coaching with people around life design, creating the life they want around them and their own unique personality. And in that process, I've worked one-on-one -on -one with a lot of INFPs. Myself, I'm actually an ENFP, so we share a lot of similarities and a lot of differences, actually. Uh, but I have worked a lot with INFPs, and sometimes you actually see a type better from the outside because you act as a bit of a, a mirror and you can see things that they don't see themselves, and that's where I'm coming from with this video. So my first bit of advice is focus on accepting yourself. And I know, I know that's not the easiest thing to do, right? Accept yourself, do it. This is something that may be a bit of life's work, right? Where you read books on self-acceptance or take time every day to do some exercises. But learning to accept who you are is really important as an INFP because my guess is sometimes you might feel a little bit different than other people. You might have a little more empathy, a little more creativity. You might like to live in your imagination a little bit or a lot more than other people. So I would really encourage you to focus on self-acceptance. And I'm gonna get into some other reasons of why that's so important. But just take that to heart is you are awesome. You have amazing abilities and skills and some stuff you're probably not so good at that makes you feel different and accept that. That is cool, you are awesome, and get over any judgment about yourself. That is my first bit of advice. Next, focus on the things you do great. As an INFP, there are certain things you can do better than anyone else. You have the best imagination of anyone. If you look at the greatest fiction writers in terms of creating entire worlds, they are INFPs. INFPs have an amazing imagination. You have a great sense of empathy and ability to connect with and help people. But there's a problem, a big problem. You also tend to be pretty smart and you tend to be good at a lot of things. Being an NFP, you are able to learn new things quite quickly and you are able to adapt, which means that if you don't accept yourself and you allow yourself to be boxed in by what society wants, you know, you take a job at a business consulting firm or whatever it is, you'll actually get along pretty well and you'll do good. And that's the problem because you will do good at the expense of things you could be doing great and you'll be fighting against yourself. So let's say in a sales capacity, you could learn to be a decent salesperson. You could use your empathy. You could get good at it but you're always gonna be fighting parts of yourself to do it, and you're gonna to have to kind of swim upstream. Actually, the river behind me is where a lot of the salmon in the world swims um, upstream to, you know, after they lay eggs, all that thing, so kind of funny. Anyhow, you're always gonna to have to be swimming upstream, like the salmon behind me, um, and fighting against who you are rather than going with the flow. Funny enough, if you do the things you are great at, great at in terms of naturally who you are and what you excel at, not only will you be great at them, which is better than good, but you're gonna do it in more flow. It's gonna be natural, it's gonna be easy for you. So hopefully I have sold you on being great, on doing the things that you naturally wanna do and will excel at and accepting yourself, but there's one more thing you have to do in order for all this to work together, and it's give yourself time to succeed. See, a lot of the lame things, the lame jobs, the easy roads happen pretty quick. If you try to go down the same route of everyone else, you know, you might get experience and success in a couple of years. You might see people around you, friends and that of other personality types who get success pretty quick, right? They're, they're the big deal at the bank they work at or the top accountant or whatever it is. Uh, and that may not be you if you try to do something exceptional, right? If, you're trying, if you decide to go into the arts and you wanna write a great book or become an amazing painter, that's not gonna take two years. That might take 10, that might take 20. Read the biographies, especially autobiographies, of great artists and creators, and sometimes they struggled for 10 or 20 years until they got there. You have to give yourself that time. So along with self-acceptance of your traits and who you are, give yourself the acceptance of, shit might take some time. It might take me longer than my friends to get to where I wanna be. And don't judge, don't go six months into doing the work you love, the work you could be great at, maybe one of the best in the world. Don't do it for six months and then judge yourself because your progress uh, might be a bit slower because of the nature of that industry or that craft. 
and then change and go back to you know, working a job that you can only be good at and you will never be great at. So I hope that makes sense. Don't compare yourself to others is essentially what I'm saying and give yourself a long runway to take off from where you say, you know what, I'm giving myself five years to follow my passion and do what I really think I will be great at and then I'll evaluate it rather than what a lot of us do is we give ourselves sort of three months or six months and then we're too hard on ourselves. So that's it. Accept yourself because you're awesome. Find a job or a career or a business that you can be great at and comes naturally to you and give yourself time to first actually discover that career or that awesome pursuit and second to actually make it happen and succeed at it. That's it, if you found this video helpful, what would be really helpful for me is if you share your own tips for other INFPs below in the comments. So I would love to hear from you. What do you think of this advice? But more importantly, what other advice would you offer fellow INFPs about uh, having more happiness, more success, and really creating their ideal life? Leave those below in the comments. If you haven't already, do subscribe to this channel. I publish new videos around personality type, figuring out the kind of life you want, and of course, making that awesome life every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So subscribe in order to not miss those, and I'll catch you in another video soon. Ciao for now.